Look for us. That's what we've been telling people for almost a year now. And it's been a really long one. But people have certainly had a lot of looking to do during this time. The volume of activity in every area, news, programming, public affairs, special projects and promotion, well, it's really been a year of super effort and accomplishment. Probably the one thing that has been the largest of all undertakings is New Center 8. There isn't even a smidgen of comparison between our old look and our new one. Our modular set with so much freedom for our cameras, the cool pale grays that enhance the skin tones of our people so well, the striking contrast of our spectacular weatherboards. All of the outward trappings are superior in design and function. But the inner workings have been where we've devoted the majority of our time. Good evening, I'm Judd Hambrick. Here's what's happening. Judd Hambrick, as sole anchor, has a style and delivery that is unique to our city. And we spent a lot of time making sure that we introduced him in the best possible way. Promotionally, we wanted to overcome his brother's years here in an advantageous way. And this was very dangerous ground. So we devised two very warm spots to distinguish him from his brother once and for all and show him as a warm human person who was new to Cleveland. <clears throat> Mr. Hambrick, it is with great joy that we herald your return to Cleveland. And furthermore... I'm sorry. We... I'm sorry. That was John Hambrick who worked in Cleveland. I'm his brother, Judd. Oh, wrong guy. Uh, kill the banners. Take Some the banners. Clevelanders still confuse Judd Hambrick with his brother. But once you've sampled Judd on Youth Center 8, we think you'll agree. Cleveland has never seen an anchorman quite like Judd Hamrick. <laughs> Sorry. Hamrick, Youth Center 8. Oh, hey, Dad. How's the job, son? Going great, except for that brother thing. Oh? They still get us mixed up. I should wear a sign saying I'm not John Hamrick, I'm his brother Judd. I'm Judd Hamrick. Judd? I thought this was John. It isn't easy being the brother of a newsman as good as John Hambrick. Unless you're a newsman as good as Judd Hambrick. Oh, yeah. I think I know which one you are now. Then we followed with additional spots, showing that he was still learning, but learning very well. Hey, uh, I'm looking for Cleveland Heights. Am I close? Well, uh, if you start from Wyoming, you're relatively close. But if you come from someplace in Cleveland, you need help. <laughs> Okay, look. In the short time Judd Hambrick has anchored our Channel 8 news, he's learned a lot about Cleveland. All the way in. He may not get around town like a native yet. All right, got it. But he's moving in the right direction. No, oh, that's one way! You can't do that! That's the wrong way! When Judd Hambrick first became our anchor man, all of us at Channel 8 watched his progress. After all, if your anchor man is good, he can help make your whole station look good. Hey, he's good. Very good. <laughs> the combination of the unique promotion and Judd's strong personality have made him one of the most recognized on-air people in the market in less than one year. We've also worked hard to promote Dick Goddard, who has always been, and probably always will be, one of the best-loved television personalities in Cleveland. We have offered his weather books to viewers, his wind chill charts in winter, his tornado maps in summer, his woolly bear festival in the fall. But above all, we have tried to give him the best tools with which to work. Which brings us to our National Weather Service color radar. We've tapped into the Weather Bureau's quarter million dollar radar at Hopkins Airport, and then we colorize it so that Dick now has the finest equipment available today. And when you live in a city like Cleveland, where the weather can frequently be your lead story of the night, our new radar is an asset of unmentionable value. But let's not forget the third part of our team. 
Jim Mueller dominates the Cleveland sports scene. He serves as color commentator on our own Cleveland Indians telecast and our Cavaliers basketball telecast. But he also broadcasts the Browns football games on radio. So Jim's credibility and exposure extends to the three major professional sports in Cleveland and brings a strong authority to our nightly sports reports. To support our anchor team, the depth and strength of our regular reporting staff and our crews have consistently kept us ahead of our competition in both quality and timeliness. And there certainly haven't been any dearth of stories to cover this year. We've had a bankrupt school system, striking teachers, the worst blizzard of the century, a mayor on the verge of being recalled, a rash of bombings in the Cleveland underworld, and we're facing a very serious busing situation this fall. With a very, very rare exception, we have consistently been first, the most accurate, and the most complete with all of our coverage. To top off the work we've done in news, and in an effort to lure more young viewers into our camp, we've utilized a large number of special reports during the past year. We've followed Miss America around. We've gone on tour with a local rock group. We've investigated high school pregnancies in the suburbs and UFO sightings in the state. We've told people how to buy a new car, and we've taken a look at the Cleveland Heights High School class of 68. Another area of major emphasis is our Trouble Center 8 section of the news. Our featured reporter, Tim Taylor, had been laboring under mounds of requests for help. So we got some help for him this spring when Call for Action officially joined the TB8 family. Working out of our premises, this all-volunteer organization helps thousands and thousands of Clevelanders with problems. And now that they're working with Tim, together we're able to solve more problems and give more people more information than ever before. But beyond news, viewers found a lot of other things to look for when they turned us on. Our Bowling for Dollars show with Dick Goddard averages over 80,000 pin pal cards per month. The show is live, it's local, it's folksy, and it holds its own very well against stiff strip competition at 7 p.m. And then there's Joker's Wild. What a success story that is. We're the only strip at 7.30, and we almost double the shares of our competition. When you consider that we were dead last a year ago, it's an even greater accomplishment. We've also worked endlessly on all of our local programming, our 40 Indians games, our Cavaliers games, Public Square with Mike Keene, now the highest rated public affairs program in the city, is another success. During the year, we air two critically acclaimed local specials, The Singing Angels with Dick Goddard and The Wandering Muse of Artemis Flagg with the Cleveland Orchestra and Chorus. The Houlihan and Big Chuck Pajama Party rolled on every Friday night. And last summer, we even gave them their own prime time special. <laughs> But the best moment of all was when our new live daily program, Noontime, dawned on the Cleveland scene in March. Every day, Monday through Friday, this light, fast-paced show disperses a world of information, helpful tips, news, and the glitter of visiting celebrities to our live studio audience and to the viewers at home. Noontime is a major commitment for us, but it's a tremendous outlet at the same time. It's a vehicle that allows us to get involved with everything happening in Cleveland that isn't necessarily news. Plus, it allows us to use the fine talent of our people, Mike Keene, Jan Jones, Dave Buckle, and Ann Mulligan. We figure we must be doing something right because the audiences just keep pouring into the station every day, and our mailroom is in a constant state of chaos. There's so much more to say, we could just go on and on with lists of projects, but we won't. We'll just say that with PM Magazine on the horizon, you can be sure the activity will continue at this pace for quite some time. And we'll continue to give the people of Cleveland a lot of good reasons to look for us. Today is the day. Look for us to lead the way. Cleveland's great. 